Uh, today, uh, very happy to welcome uh, actress Kelly Ann Barrett from the United States. Uh, she's also a great producer through her company, Cab Films or KAB Films? <laughs> yeah, KAB Films, that's just my initials, so I just went with that. Yes, <laughs> excellent. Uh, <laughs> uh, Kelly, I, uh, thank you very much for joining the interview. I uh, want to ask you. Oh, it feels great. Thank you. <laughs> I want to ask you about your. Uh, you start to uh, to uh, you start in uh, early. You know, uh, in, uh, to be interested in the arts, entertainment, into performing and writing. How how did it start? It started when I was younger. I've always been interested in the arts and entertainment. I was a dancer. I juggled a little bit in, you know, modeling, uh, but I really fell in love with dance and I loved dance and I wanted to go to college for that, but that didn't happen. So then I got involved in music for a little while. I was a very successful uh, DJ and I traveled all over the world for about 13 years. Uh, when I was in my 20s, so which was like five years ago. So, <laughs> joking. So I traveled all over the world doing that, and I loved it. I just didn't want to be a music producer. Uh, so I started taking acting classes in New York, and I absolutely fell in love with it. My teacher was great. He introduced me to some really uh, fantastic different techniques. And it just felt the same as like being a dancer on stage. It just, I just fell in love with it like I did with dance. So I just kept studying different techniques in New York. Yes. Yes. And uh, can you hear me? Yes. Yes. And uh, then uh, tell me about your experience in New York. What, what drove you to move from uh, New York to LA? Well, there is way more opportunity in Los Angeles than there is in New York City as far as film, film and TV go. There, are, there were at the time about 100 different TV shows being shot in New York, but most of the casting was done here in Los Angeles anyway for the major roles. That is, um, I mean, there were smaller roles here and there, but there was more theater and there was more, I, d I don't sing very well. I never tried. I'm not that great. So <laughs> I would need a lot of lessons. So I'm not into like musical theater. And and I, I did study theater in New York. I did like some shows, but I came to LA because I felt like there was way more opportunity out here and there is, there's just way more work out here. So... Yeah. Yes. But and it's I, unfortunate because I love New York City. I love it there. I love it. So it's it makes me sad, but I love being out here working. Yes. A lot more. Yes. <laughs> I, I've seen uh, some of your uh, video reels on uh, the Internet Movie Database and uh, your website, the website of your company. You know, I, I feel you have a certain tendency to do comedy, correct? Oh, thank you. Thank you. I have uh, comedy. Comedy is hard. It's different. Comedy is very hard, but I mean, so is drama sometimes. So, you know, I just do whatever auditions I get. So, you know, whether it's comedy or drama, I, I don't mind. I like them both. So I actually write comedy which is funny, I've written a lot of comedic films. Um, and that's also takes a lot of work because you have to go through and you have to set up jokes and one liners and it's a whole process. So when I first started writing, it was just comedy and I would, sat, I would sit there and I would try to make every line funny, you know? But then what was great about those films is you just hire a professional comedian and they'll come in and they'll like, knock it out of the ballpark and make it even like a million times more funny. So, you know, so that's, but writing is, is, is like, I have to get back into writing. I just had a major film company ask for one of my screenplays. So that was really nice. So I want to get back into it so that I can like polish up all my work and just make sure that it's ready 
you know, for the market. Yeah. Uh, tell me uh, right now, uh, you know, um, uh, you have your own uh, production company. Are, are, are you looking to produce your own writing or are you looking for specific projects by, by other writers? What are you looking for? What are you looking for and to accomplish through your own company, you know? Well, that, that would be amazing. I did the really, I, I just started because I just started writing my own scenes and my own monologues and stuff for myself, for my reel, so I could showcase what I can do as an actress. And that was exciting. And then the first opportunity I had to really produce anything was a, a TV show pilot. And that was for a friend of mine uh, who is a writer and he had a show in New York and he was trying to produce his TV pilot, but he didn't have any money to do it. So every time he tried to get everybody together, it was a big failure because no one would show up because you have to pay people. So I was like, well, why don't you just come to LA? I have some money, you know, we can do it. I got him A-list actors. I found other investors. I invested all my money into it. And my manager was working with Netflix on it and it was going well. And something happened between my manager and him and they butted heads and he wouldn't set them up with a meeting with Netflix because he didn't want to give away his contact, which I don't blame him, you know? So it all went south and they just cut me out of the whole deal and like threw me into the books. So it was like an experience. Number one, it was an experience. Um, and I should have put my own money to produce my own pilot that I wrote. Uh, I can do it again, you know, if I really want to. Um, but, but the acting has picked up. So I've been more focused on the acting because my agents are always getting me auditions. So I'm really focused on that. I get like five auditions a day. It's crazy. So it's hard to do everything. It's hard to do acting, writing, producing. It's like I I'm just want to focus on the one thing that... You know, I'm making my money from acting right now, but if I focus on writing and movies, if I get one of my movies sold, then that could be a, a, a nice paycheck. So it's, I'm just trying to like prioritize. <laughs> yeah. Excellent. But I, I uh, do you think right now that the industry is picking up, you know, after the COVID lockdown? Uh, there are a lot of, uh, my manager has an office on the Warner Brothers lot in, uh, in England. And she says, you know, people, people, they're up and ready. They're making movies. Um, what that movie that just came out, Tenant, is up to almost like $300 million or something. So, you know, the industry, it's, it, they're ready. They're, they have all the COVID, you know, stuff in place. Um, so yeah, they're making movies and, so, yeah, it's definitely back up and running and all over the world, too. So if it's not good here, then it's good over in Europe. It's just unfortunate that we can't go to movie theaters, but people are still buying movies online and everything. So, yeah. Especially that, uh, uh, you know, I saw Tenant like two weeks ago here in Egypt, you know, all the movies right now open, uh, like we say, day and date right yeah. now. Okay. So uh, I think it's a very good film, you know, not all the films, uh, you can experience it uh, at your home or binge watching, you know, it's one of the films you must see in a theater, especially with the sound, the music, you know, the sound yeah. mix was very powerful. Yeah. Yeah, you know. Uh, but right now, do you have some work completed uh, that you are waiting for its release? Uh, I have, well, I was in a movie, I had, I had one scene in a movie that was for a pretty big production company out here that I did last year, but they might be having some issues with their post-production with their paperwork or something. So I'm just like waiting for that to come out. So that was, that was nice, but, um, work for myself. I'm just right now, I'm just like pitching. I have one com comedic screenplay that I feel like is ready to go. It just maybe needs one, one or two more rewrites. But um, I've been shopping that around to different production companies. And then, oh, I'm working with a writer from Harvard. We developed a uh, TV pilot. It's a true story, uh, king and queen thing, epic, you know, before Christ, 
uh, based out of Turkey. So it's very interesting, very cool. So that's being shopped around as well. And he's a writer from Harvard and he likes to do all that research and he's, he's very good. He's very, very good. So I'm happy to be working with him and, you know, trying to get his pilot sold. So that would be nice. So, you know, and, and that's pretty much it. I have like 10 screenplays and other projects that I've worked on, but they just have to, I just have to get back into writing, you know, every day so they can get uh, polished up real well. So hopefully, you know, we'll see them produce someday. <laughs> hopefully, yes, I, ho I hope so. And uh, yes, I wish uh, you all the best, Kelly, you know, in your upcoming project. And I wish as well next year will be better for all of us, you know. And I oh, think please. we are, uh, are forgetting about this COVID thing. People <laughs> would like to go back to work. <laughs> I know. It's a shame. So uh, how are things over there? In Egypt, uh, people uh, went back to work. Uh, we don't wear masks uh, anymore, Amazing. you know. Uh, it's still warm, the weather. Right now we are uh, in the first days of October, you know. But uh, of course, um, like in Europe, you know, uh, everybody is worried about, uh, you know, uh, in New York as well, you know, if the weather is uh, getting colder you know, there will be more active, the virus. But I hope, I hope everything will be uh, better and people can take care of themselves. Yeah, hopefully we'll see after the winter because the flu season is coming up. But New York is, New York has thinned out. It's amazing. New York and, and LA have thinned out. You can drive around New York City and there's like no traffic. It's, un, it's unreal. It's like, wow, yeah. the city's just like, Thinned. It's kind of nice to have less people, but it's like, wow, you know, so yes. we'll yes. see after yes. the winter. Yes. Strange times, yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It'll yes. calm down, we'll uh, get better. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank yes. you so much and for inviting me. Yeah, you're welcome. Uh, uh, it was a great pleasure for me. Uh, I hope uh, next time we chat about uh, a new film or a new television series, uh, you know, release where you are uh, uh, being acting or, or your own writing as well. Thank you so much.